Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to include line breaks with your concatenate function. So, we may be aware of the concatenate function, the function that joins several text strings together. But if you're combining lots or large amounts of text, then it may be awkward to fit it within one column. And we don't want awkward, unwieldy, large columns in the spreadsheet. No, no, no. So we would like to be able to wrap the text. Or in a case of a formula, insert line breaks. Now the first thing we need to do is select the cells in question and apply wrap text. Now that alone is not going to wrap the text of a formula. If you want to create wrapping in a formula, you need to insert these line breaks, which we're going to do in this video. But we also need wrap text. So I'm going to turn that on first of all, so those texts are wrapping applied. I'm then going to begin with the concatenate function. And I'm going to use this to join the different parts of these addresses. So the first piece of the address is the address 1, 34 Samson Street, comma. Now, I need my first line break. I want the different parts of this address on different lines. And for this, we need a function called char, um, short for character, I believe, because its job is to return the character specified by a code from the character set. So we need to know what is the code for a line break. And I can tell you for now that the code we need is 10. You can find out these codes just by simply searching online. But for now, I can tell you it's 10. So I'm going to put an opening bracket, type 10, and then a closing bracket. And that will insert that line break for us. I can now put a comma and continue with my address. Next up is city, comma, and I'm then going to follow that with another line break, comma, then going to be the next part, the county, comma, and goes another line break, char, open bracket, 10, closing bracket, comma, last part of the address, although it could easily go on, closing bracket. Now we'll press enter on there. And widen that row here we go it's now wrapped onto multiple lines and I can copy that formula down to the other cells and the same job is done for those I've aligned these cells centrally in advance of this but now I have these line breaks in a formula or in this concatenate function uh, just to demonstrate I said it in the build up here but just to show that um. I'm not telling you fibs, if I select these cells with the address in and unwrap those text, then I lose it all. So we do need the text wrapping as well. The most common mistake when people start using this char 10 is that it doesn't, it still doesn't wrap. And it's because they haven't wrapped the text of the cells. So we do need both, but neither one of those will work together. We also need it in the formula to insert you know, line breaks where we wish those to be. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergarga.com.